Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how you can use hyperlinks and bookmarks in a document. And hyperlinks are effectively a way for you to link to other things. And those other things might be an external web page. It might be that you want to link to another page or another part of the current document. It might be that you want to add a link to an email address or even another file that you have stored locally. So hyperlinks effectively cover a multitude of different options. But essentially what we're doing here with all of them is simply linking to something else so that it's quick to reference and easy for the reader. So let's take a look at hyperlinks first of all, and then we'll move on to how hyperlinks work with bookmarks. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down in this document and I'm going to move to the end of the introduction section. Now it might be at the end here, I want to just add a line that says for further information, please refer to the Microsoft website. So let's type that in. So now to make this super simple for the reader to get to the correct page on the Microsoft website, I can create a hyperlink. And it might be that I want the word Microsoft to be the hyperlink that they click on. And this is very similar to clicking on links on a web page. So all we need to do here is highlight the word and we have a couple of different options. We could right click our mouse and you'll notice towards the bottom of this contextual menu, we have link. Alternatively, if we go up to the insert tab, notice in the links group, we have link just here. There's also a keyboard shortcut of control K. So if we click on link, it's going to open up the insert hyperlink dialog box. And this is where we can choose exactly what we want to link to. As I mentioned at the beginning, there are a few different types of link that we can create. So I can link to an existing file or a web page, or I can link to a specific place in this document, or I can link to an email address. Now, because we're linking to an external web page, I want to select this first option. Now notice here, this option allows you to link to an existing file or a web page. So if you did want to link to another file, this is where you can come in and select a file from the recent list, or you can browse for the particular file or Word document that you want to link to. Now, because we want to link to a web page, all we need to do is copy and paste in or type in the website address. Now I haven't grabbed the website address, the URL, so I'm just going to type it in. We'll say www and we'll just say microsoft.com. If I click on OK, immediately you'll notice that the word Microsoft now changes to a link. You can see the color has changed. And again, the color that you see here for this hyperlink is very much determined by your theme colors. In fact, if we go across to design, go to colors and then customize colors. This is where you're going to see right at the bottom, your hyperlinks are going to show in this blue color. And then when you've clicked on the hyperlink, it will show in a light blue color. So if we hover our mouse over the word Microsoft, you can see it says control plus click to follow the link. So let's hold down control, click on Microsoft, and it's going to take us to the Microsoft homepage. Really nice and straightforward. Now, what else can I use hyperlinks to link to? Well, I could link to a different place in this document. So maybe I have up here, read more about, and then I'm going to say switching views. Now I have a chapter or a heading a bit further down in this document called switching views. So when the user clicks on switching views up here, I wanted to jump to that point in the document. So what we can do here is select the word. This time I'm going to right click and go to link. This time we're going to link to a place in this document. And what you'll notice is that in this pane, if we scroll all the way up to the top, this is showing me all of the headings that I have contained within this document. So I can choose which one I want to link to. So if I scroll down, I can see we have switching views just here. And also notice in the top right hand corner, we have a button that says screen tip. 
Now, what this allows you to do is provide the user with a bit more information. So when they hover their mouse over the hyperlink, they're going to get a little floating screen tip that provides them with further information. So maybe I want to say in here, please click here to read about switching views and click on OK. Let's click the OK button again. Notice I have my hyperlink. If I hover my mouse over it, I'm getting that text that I've just specified. If I hold down control and click on the link, it's going to jump me to the correct spot in the document. So this is one of the reasons why making sure that your document has word styles in it is really important. And then, of course, the final thing that we can link to is we can link to an email address. So again, let's type something in. For more information, contact Deborah Ashby. So I'm just going to use my name as an example of this. And maybe I want to make my name hyperlink so that when the user clicks on my name, it opens up an email or a brand new email addressed to me in their default email application. So once again, we can select what we want to make a link. And this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control K. So this time we are linking to an email address and we need to provide a little bit of information there. So who is this email going to? Now, for argument's sake, I'm just going to address it to myself. So I'm going to type in my email address. And you have the option of also adding a subject line. So I'm going to say inquiry. You could add a screen tip if you wanted to as well. For time's sake, I'm not going to at this stage. Let's click on OK. And now if I hold down control and click on my name, my default email application, and you can see that the new email is addressed to me. Now, in all of those examples of using hyperlinks, we've been using text. We've been creating hyperlinks from text. But you can also use things like images and icons as your hyperlinks as well. For example, if I go all the way down to the end of this document, control end, maybe I want an icon here, which will jump me all the way back to the top of the document. So I'm going to insert an icon. Let's search for, we'll say home and choose this one just here. And of course, I could spend some time formatting this. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, but now I'm going to make this a link. So if I right click, I can go down to link. I'm going to say place in this document and I want it to jump up to the introduction section. I'm going to add a screen tip that says click to jump to the top. Click on OK. OK again. And now if I hold down control and click on this icon, it's going to jump me to that exact place in the document. So don't think that you're simply restricted to hyperlinking via text. You can also use shapes, pictures, icons, anything like that. In the next lesson, we're going to explore how you can hyperlink using bookmarks. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.